Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today's video is going to be my empties. This is the second time I've ever done these types of videos, but you guys seem to like them the last time. So I'm bringing it back for my Sunday and Wednesday upload. If you are new here, before I get into it, go ahead and subscribe on the Can of Kings family. <laughs> Give the video a thumbs up and keep on watching if you want to know what I've actually ended up using up in the past couple of months. And I've decided that at the end of these empty videos, I'm going to give you guys a favorite product of the month just to kind of spice it up and tell you guys what I've been loving thus far, even if it's not empty yet. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what my monthly favorite is. It's by a black owned brand, just a little bit of a hint. So let's just jump right in. The first product that I have is a skincare item. And as you can see, <laughs> It's empty, empty. I used this up. This is from Bolden, which is a black owned brand and it is the Glow Hydrating Mask. So I tried most of everything that Bolden has to offer in their products or whatever. And this is the one that I actually ended up using up completely. Um, this mask is a nice mask for me to do in the shower. So I would like wash my face, do all that stuff, and I would hop in the shower, put this mask on, and let the steam from the shower kind of work it into my skin and kind of just give me like a nice little moisturizing hydration treatment while I'm showering. And then I'll hop out and finish my skincare routine. While I liked this, I would not repurchase it. I just found myself trying to use it up and get rid of it because I had it in my collection. I wanted to kind of dwindle down the things that I had that I just don't really love or hate. So what I say you have to go out and get this and you need it in your life, I would not say that. So I'm not going to tell you guys that, but it was a nice product. If you like their brand and you haven't tried this before, you might like it. If your skincare lacks hydration, you might like it as well. I find that when I'm doing lots of different actives and acne treatments and exfoliation you also want to make sure you're adding that moisture and hydration back to your skin so this was nice to use in my routine but again I wouldn't go out and repurchase it just a personal opinion the next thing I have is another black owned brand and this is lotion so this is from honey's handmade it is the electric lemonade skin soaking body cream so as you guys can see it's literally nothing in here like maybe i can moisturize my hands <laughs> with what's left in this jar uh, i love this product um I've been using it for a long time. It takes me a while to go through lotions because I actually prefer to use oils on my skin. For whatever reason, I stay moisturized longer, but this actually kind of felt like an oil mixed with a regular lotion. So it was very moisturizing and I loved it. I actually ordered some more. Her products just feel natural and handmade and very good for the hair and skin like I don't have any complaints about the brand in general and this is just a lotion I like to have on my nightstand to moisturize with <laughs> at nighttime. The next product is a hair product and this is another black owned business this is by curls and this is the cashmere and caviar hair bath now if you've watched my channel for a while they kind of like pay attention to things that I love and whatever the case is I mentioned this a few times on Instagram at Candy Kinks and on this channel. I adore this shampoo. I tend to enjoy curls as a brand in general, but this shampoo is probably their best shampoo. Depends on who you ask, obviously, but personally, this is their best shampoo. I had this for a while because I do hair reviews all the time on this channel, so it takes me a while to go through hair products, but this product. I'm low-key sad that I'm done with it and I will use this like I'm not recording. I'll just wash my hair quick in the bathroom. It softens the hair, but it's a shampoo that softens and cleanses at the same time. I really like this line. I liked the cleansing and the conditioning products. I wasn't super in love with the styling products, but this hair bath specifically is my favorite shampoo from Curls and a really good shampoo if you're in the market. It's a little bit pricey, keep that in mind. So it's just kind of like a, if you want to try it out or not, but I really like it 
and I finally finished it. And I'm really happy because I tend to not finish hair products. Either I use it one or two times and I give it away to family and friends or it just sits around in my room or in my bathroom. So I'm trying to truly go through things when I'm not doing a video, just washing and conditioning and just using products that I have in the shower and all over my space because it gets overwhelming. And if I use a product like to the halfway mark, I'm not gonna give it away. So I need to just deplete it <laughs> and not waste it on my shelf for months and months and even years and years, you know? So I wanna do these videos to encourage myself <laughs> to go through things and get rid of them to create content for you guys and to also just get rid of things and not waste them. So the next products are going to be skincare. Um, Dermalogica is a favorite brand of mine. I tried it almost a year ago, I want to say. I've tried a lot of things from them and I've loved most things that I've tried and this is no exception. This is the special cleansing gel. I think I've gone through two of these so far and I will just keep using it. I just feel like it is the best cleanser there is <laughs> and I like to use this when my skin is like it's dirtiest like after I put makeup on I'll remove the makeup then I'll use this if I have a no makeup day then I'll just use another cleanser that's a little bit lighter and less cleansing but I feel like it's so cleansing but also very gentle and not stripping and I just love it so that's just that's just that's just that I just love <laughs> this product next product is also from the same brand Dermalogica and this is their pre cleanse I like to use this on a makeup free day I'll just like you know cleanse my face with this like an oil cleanser and then I'll use a regular cleanser and go from there if I'm wearing makeup I don't use this but I like this on my bare skin like if I'm wearing sunscreen only or moisturizer only this breaks it down really well my skin feels so soft and then I'll jump into a cleanser cleanser so I love this I've used two of these as well I've been using these two products the cleansing gel and the pre-cleanse I would say religiously <laughs> um, for at least like seven or eight months now um and i love them i have no complaints and i've literally only used i think two of each so i guess i've used one per four months which is not crazy i have another cleanser that i like to use that i will mention in the next empties video because it's almost empty <laughs> So my last empty for this video is another skincare item and this is benzoyl peroxide from acne.org. So I've done a few skincare routine videos on this channel. I will leave one of them linked up in the card. Click on the little eye above my head and it'll pop up. And this is what I use to control my acne. I tried to get off of it, I want to say like seven or six months ago to try to get my skin just to be on like a wash, tone, moisturize type of routine and it did not work for me. Like for whatever reason, my skin likes to break out hormonally, specifically around this area of my face. Period comes, it's a wrap. Even when I'm on my period, it's a wrap. And I tried to get off, like I said, didn't work for me. I had to get back on. And truly, this is the only thing that keeps my acne basically non-existent or at bay. So my period is on, I'll get like one or two pimples. And other than that, my skin genuinely keeps it like just balanced for the most part. So I use this twice a day after I cleanse and I love it. It's also the cheapest form, I feel like, at this strength that you can find. They do have benzoyl peroxide washes and they do have different treatments you could get from other brands that have this active ingredient in it. But I just stick to what I know works for me and I feel like I've tried different skincare the past year and I just like didn't really have the best results. So I'm like, you know, let me just go back to what I know works and just keep it like that. I used to use the entire acne.org system, which I do recommend and I do love, but I want to kind of elevate. I'm getting older. I want to have a little bit more mature skincare routine. So I added a little bit of better brands to the routine, but I keep that benzoyl peroxide in the routine to control the acne. Let me know if you guys would like an updated skincare routine. I can definitely do that for you. So comment down below and let me know. So we're at the end of the video and I want to share my favorite of the month. 
and this is a black owned brand the brand's name is Canty this is their liquid gold luxury glow oil with pure boobab oil and 24 karat gold for all skin types I'm not a face oil person I really wasn't using face oils prior to this I tried some from the Melogica didn't really care for it a while ago like a couple years ago I tried a hobo oil that was cool I didn't really stick with it but this was gifted to me by the brand she is uh, also a youtuber and instagrammer and influencer all that stuff and she has her own skincare line with her sister um i'm gonna leave their information down below but she gifted this to me and i tried it just wanted to support and see how my skin would like it because i do like to add moisture and since i'm using all these actives on my face i wanted to have moisture so i just looked into my dms and just wanted to make sure what i saw and i got this in the mail may 11th okay so may 11th june 11th and july 7th is today so we're about to be two months of me using this product since day one i've been using it morning and night and i just put a couple drops in my moisturizer morning and night and when i tell you guys i love it <laughs> okay i have had a great experience with it and i would definitely say to check it out if you like facial oils if your face is dry or whatever the case is it's been like i said two months and i am right here so i've used about one third like i'm right here this is where the line is i've used about one third of the product in two months so that makes me very happy <laughs> that i will probably last me definitely until 2021 and i could just get another one on my own because i have been enjoying my time with this product so that's the end of the video i hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know what you have been emptying down below hair care or skin care since you guys are probably in the house more often than you've ever been give the video a thumbs up on your way out and if you watch the whole thing you have not joined the candy kings family now is the time okay go ahead thanks <laughs> i love you guys and i will see you in the next one